everybody, we're over at SeaWorld today and we are gonna be checking out some of the animal interactions uh, today at SeaWorld Orlando. We're gonna be doing the sharks, the sea lions, and the dolphins up close. All right, the kids are home today because the husband and I are celebrating our 27th wedding anniversary. So we left the kids at home. I feel just a little bad about it, um, but we've come out today. We're gonna do the animal interactions. So we're going over to check out the dolphins for a 30 minute tour uh, at, uh, let's see, 11.15. And then at 12.45, we're gonna go check out the sharks. We're gonna go to the top of the aquarium. We're gonna get to pet them and feed them. My husband is a shark lover and it is shark week. So they've got some enhanced experiences with the sharks this week. Cannot wait to check that out. And then at three o'clock, we're gonna check out the seals where we get to get up close, hopefully feed them and pet them because I'm a seal lover too. So it's something that we wouldn't normally do otherwise, but because it's a special occasion, we spent the money and we're just chilling out with some all day dining meals and some animal interactions. We're gonna keep it low key today here at SeaWorld, but it's a great opportunity to get out. Sometimes you gotta get out just the parents, right? The kids don't have to come to everything. We're headed over towards the dolphins now. We're gonna go check out the dolphin encounter. One of my favorite parts is petting them, so come along. Here we go, we're going in for the dolphin encounter. Foxes, I'll be with you in just a moment. Welcome, you guys excited to meet some dolphins today? Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Uh, well, my name is Xander, I'm one of the trainers here. So I'll let you guys know before we get started, if you are unvaccinated and in ages two to 12, you need to be wearing a face covering during our interaction today. So if you need any of those, we can provide those for you. Um, so just let me know, uh, I can grab some for them if you guys don't have any yourselves. Uh, we want to thank you for that. That's one of the big ways that we're able to keep the dolphins and all the animals here at the park uh, safe because they can get the same respiratory diseases that we can, um, like COVID. Uh, during our training session today, I'm going to teach you folks some of the different hand signals, some of the ways we communicate with the dolphins. You guys are going to follow along. You're going to all be our trainers uh, for the day. I'm also going to make sure for each of my parties today, we do get a group photo as well. We do have photographers right on over there, and that stylish hat that's Ralph is going to be our paparazzi today. Um, I have what, party of four, party of two, and a party of two? Fantastic. Uh, we'll move you guys around a little bit so you're not photobombing each other unless you really want somebody else in your photos, in which case, more power to you. You guys are the ones who paid for it. Um, I am going to ask that while you're up near the side of the pool, you keep your hands free of any and all loose objects. Uh, when we're touching the dolphins today, I'll make sure you guys get tons of time to do it. We'll be touching them on their backs and towards their tails, so just avoiding their head and their face. And I'll let you know the best time to reach on out over that wall, give them those rub downs. Let's have everybody keep their hands on our side of the wall uh, until that time comes. Okay. Saying hello to them. Now, what I'm going to have everybody do, put two hands in the air just like this, everybody. Give them all a big wave hello. Get that mask up for me. Thank you very much. Uh, well, if you're hearing an outfit, we're waving at you three lit, or everybody with. Uh, well, they're flippers. The dolphins have two flippers. You got one on each side of their chest. They can use them to play all over to everybody. And we also use them to stop and steer in the water. But these two dolphins have learned how to use those flippers to a little bit more fun. And they actually know karate. Uh, for that, we need everybody's help. Put your left hand up just like this, raise all the way into the sky. And on the count of three, we're all going to karate chop down. So one, two, three. Well done, boys. <laughs> 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 the dolphins join you folks up on the side of the wall. You'll get a chance to give them some bad breath as they pop up on us. You can reach on out, give them some rub downs, and let me know what they feel like. What do you guys think dolphins feel like? <laughs> That's a good answer. I like to say they feel a little like wet hot dogs. Try that one more 
Let's see if we can go a little bit further out. Like so we just finished our first uh, tour. It was the dolphin encounter. I thought we had the 30 minute session, but we only had the 15 minute session. Um, I had to make a change in my reservation and they didn't switch me over the right way, but that's neither here nor there. It was amazing. It used to be when I was growing up in Central Florida, you could come to SeaWorld and anyone and everyone could pet the dolphins, but now it's, it's a separate excursion which I get, you know, we gotta make sure we're taking care of these dolphins. But um, I have to tell you, it was amazing. We've never paid to do it before. And I have to say, just having those few minutes um, to sort of play with the dolphins. Now on the 15 minute tour, you don't get to feed them, but on the 30 minute one, you do. So if you wanna feed them, look for the 30 minute tour. Otherwise go to 15 and you just get a few minutes to interact with them, to pet them. And uh, I gotta tell you, it was one of the fastest 15 minutes of my life. So next to the dolphin encounter, you can actually come underground and see the dolphins swimming in their aquarium. or fish, who knows what we're gonna end up getting, but it's lunchtime. Of course, one of our favorite things to do that we do every time is to come and pet the stingrays. They're so slimy. Did you know that SeaWorld also has a summer camp? And the kids do things like this. They climb into the stingray pool and they scrub the pool, collect uh, stingray teeth, and really get a hands-on experience at the SeaWorld camp. We have more information on our summer camp guide if you want to check it out. So of course, if you're going to spend the day focusing on animals and all of the things to do at SeaWorld with the animals, you got to stop in at all the aquariums. So we're going to check out the one located just underneath Manta. to take our time and smell the flowers. It's getting a little warm out, so I had to break out the fans to keep me cool. But we are here at the, the manatee um, pool, and this is where you can see sometimes some sea turtles, but definitely the manatees. Um, they're all rescues here at SeaWorld. They find them in the wild. They're injured from boats or other 
um, trash, things like that, and, and they bring them here to rehabilitate them. Um, and of course, the end goal is always to release them back into the wild. But while they're rehabilitating and getting healthy again, you can check them out here at SeaWorld. They're the ones that kind of draw the most uh, drama. 
effort into their live food, but it does sometimes happen. Great white sharks are a great example of ambush predators. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna come from below. So we are currently on top of the aquarium at Shark Encounter, and we're gonna be feeding these sharks that are starting to gather. We're on our way to the seal lion and otter stadium. We're gonna see and pet and feed a sea lion. Cheap. 
paying attention. Like I said, those little guys aren't eating fish yet. When you do have your bucket, just keep it by your side or on the ground. Please don't put it on the railing because if it goes over, I have to go swimming and I don't want to do that. Um, if a fish falls on the ground, don't feed it. No five second rule for the sea lions here. We'll replace it later. So uh, also watch out for the birds. These white birds that are flying around, if you're holding a fish just in the air, they'll come and they'll take it right out of your hand. So if you have a fish, just throw it and yeah, have fun. Favorite. Thank you. You ready to go feed some fish? I am. To the seals? I think these guys are hungry for our fish. I like the one waving. The one back there waves. Oh, good one. Of course, we're going to take advantage of the free complimentary beer. Our day at SeaWorld was absolutely fantastic. One of the things we don't take a lot of time to do is interact with the animals because we're so busy hitting the rides and the food with the kids. So taking time out to actually enjoy the animals was pretty spectacular. It is pricey, which is why we did it without the kids this time, but uh, we wanted to see what it was all about and if it was worth it to spend the money. I have to say, we'll take the kids back and do this again because some of these experiences were quite phenomenal. The sea lion was amazing. The interactions are really quick. Unfortunately, you get just a couple of minutes to pet or interact with them. Feeding the sea lions the large fish, of course, is always a highlight for me. Seeing the shark encounter from the top of the aquarium was quite amazing. Now, they did tell us that they were doing that specifically for shark week. Normally, they feed the sharks uh, in the small aquarium out in front of shark encounter so be sure to inquire because that tour wouldn't have been the same without going to the top of the shark encounter aquarium that being said the dolphins are always a highlight for me but again i would have enjoyed the 30 minute tour they have additional tours tours as well where you can experience the rescue area the orcas the beluga whales so there's a lot of different experiences other than what we did on this particular trip so be sure to check out all the animal tours and if you're working on a budget remember there are plenty of animal opportunities through the aquariums and the manatees and sea turtles things like that where you can experience these animals without paying the additional for those interactions however again because it was a special day we decided we wanted to do something a little different and we're so glad that we did it really helped create some wonderful family memories so as always, no matter what you're doing with your Central Florida family, we hope you're finding some fantastic fun in the Central Florida area. We'll catch you next time.